Well, good evening to you. It is so good to see you in the house of the Lord tonight. And we'll go ahead and, and get started. How many of you brought your word with you? Hold, hold it up. Don't be ashamed of it. Let me see it. Let me see it. We're going to be old-fashioned here. Don't, I'm, I'm looking to see how many phones that I see. <laughs> I'm just thinking on your sister. Hey, Amen. I tell you, I, I love the Word of God. You love the Word of God. Amen. And um, I, I, take it if you, uh, I take it if you didn't bring your Bible that you know it all by heart. So, <laughs> Amen. You know that's a joke. All right. Hopefully you know that's a joke. Amen. But it is so good to be here tonight and uh, uh, have a lot in store uh, for you to uh, just worship with, um, uh, with, uh, with some folks as they come tonight and minister in song. Uh, but I want to, as we open up our service tonight, if you brought your Bibles and you're able to stand, would you stand with us and turn to Psalm number 100? I'm only going to look at, at, at one particular verse, and, uh, and that is verse number, uh, number four, as far as, as far as reading it is concerned. Uh, but um, uh, the chapter begins out in verse number one, exhorting to make a joyful noise and how that we're to make a joyful noise unto the Lord. And then in verse 2, it talks about serving. So we're to make that joyful noise. We are to serve. And verse 3 says, Know ye that the Lord, He is God. And then I want to get to verse number 4. So, so we need to make a joyful noise. We need to serve the Lord. And we need to know that He is God. And once we get all of that down in verse number 4, which I believe is the heart, the very heart of this chapter, where he says, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Amen. Let me read that again. He said, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. How many of you know what it means to bless his name? How many of you came tonight to bless him? Amen. He said, uh, enter into his gates. So you see uh, that word gate and that word court, uh, I would hear no doubt refers to the features of the Jewish temple. Amen. But you know, that was not something intended for just then, but it also applies now because they are equally applicable today in the kingdom of God as you and I have come together tonight. Amen. We have an opportunity tonight. How many of you know that? We have an opportunity. He said um, to enter into his gates with thanksgiving, into his courts with praise. Amen. Be thankful unto him him and bless his name. Amen. There's only one thing stopping you and I from blessing his name tonight. And you know what that is? If I had a mirror, you could hold it up because that would be you. That would be me. The only one stopping me from praising the Lord tonight is me itself. Is to allow the flesh to get in the way. But you know what? The flesh is going to have to get into subjection tonight because I want to serve the Lord with everything that is within me. I want to make a joyful noise unto the Lord and I want to know that he is God and whenever I know that when we sense that when we realize that we can come in into his presence into his courts and we can give him praise tonight I many of you know that the reason that we're truly here tonight is not to hear a lot of wonderful singing while that is great and powerful and influential but the reason that you and I ought to be here tonight is so that we can say God, I just want to praise you from the bottom of my heart. I want to give you glory. I want to give you victory for that, Lord, because in you and in your name there is victory, and that is where I want to stand. I want to stand on your word. I want to worship you in spirit and in truth. So here we are tonight as we've just entered this place. We've entered the gates. We're in the courts. Amen. Hey, man, it's in our court now, isn't it? It's in our court. What are we going to do with it? What are we going to do with it? Are we going to take an advantage? Are we going to say, you know what? I'm going to turn off all the distractions. You know, I'm going to forget what's on television that I trust me. It's probably not worth watching anyway. 
I'm just going to turn off all of those distractions. Don't be concerned about what you're going to eat here in a little while. And if you like me, you've got a plenty and you can go a while, okay? Because, of, amen, we can, you can go a while, amen? So, but what am I trying to say to you is that we have an opportunity tonight to glorify the King of kings and the Lord of lords, that we can have church tonight. We had church this morning, didn't we? Amen. Amen. We can have church again tonight. Amen. I tell you, here to tell you, when the Holy Ghost of God begins to move. Uh, amen. We can have church. You remember the old song? Uh, when the Holy Ghost shows up, we can have church. And that's what we need uh, is to welcome him, to invite him and to welcome him into this place tonight that he can have his way in this service tonight. Father, we love you tonight and we thank you for your blessings. Uh, we thank you for your word uh, that we hold so near and dear to our hearts tonight. Father, we just want to serve you with everything that is within us. Well, Father, we know tonight already that you are an all-powerful and an all-knowing God, that you are concerned with us, with each one of us and our needs. You're concerned with where we had. And Father, we know that you are even in our midst tonight as we welcome you into this place. Father, have your way, minister and touch in every way in this service in its entirety tonight. Father, that you would just bless, that you would touch hearts and encourage those who need to be encouraged. And Father, we thank you. We praise you. We give you all of the glory. All of the glory. We give it to you tonight. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we thank you. Everyone say it. Amen, amen, amen. Before you see it, why don't you turn to one of your neighbors and say you sure are beautiful tonight. <laughs> this is the quietest y'all been all day. You ever go, you, you know, when you go to the zoo and, you, and all the folks are sitting out there and they're watching this monkey jump around? Well, right now I feel like the monkey. <laughs> Y'all come on up here, let's sing. <laughs> hand in hand, amen. <laughs> Scratch like a monkey. There's the monkey right there. <laughs> hey, he's an old monkey. You know, you were talking about a while ago that uh, people come on singing that tape for John sung. I'll tell you something, make you smile now. It did. Well, it wasn't too funny, but it was. I was singing at a funeral, and every time I'd get up to sing, somebody, the man on the tape would sing, and I was behind a bunch of flowers. <laughs> so I didn't say nothing, Sister Hardum. I let the man sing. Next song come up, I stood up, had the microphone. Those five, yeah, I was going to sing. He started off again. So I sat down. When the funeral was over, the man said, you did a wonderful job. I said, thank you. I did a good job standing up and sitting down, you know. And that actually happened. Y'all put your hands together. Let's worship tonight. Make the devil mad. Yeah. I'm standing on the shore, looking out across life's ocean. And I see the storms of fury round me roll And I just can't see no way That I'm gonna make it over Despair and fear are trouble in my soul And I see a ship sailing safely in the harbor And I'm so thankful it's arriving just in time Come aboard, my little children. I'll take you home on the old ship of time. These waves are getting closer, and they're about to pull me under. And desperately, I'm trying to hold on. Everywhere I look, there is darkness all around me. Oh, Lord, how long before the morning dawn? Then I see a ship, 
ship sailing safely in the harbor. And I'm so thankful it's arriving just in time. The captain's calling, come aboard, my little children. I'll take you home on the old ship of time. And I see a ship sailing safely in the harbor.
just so you wouldn't fall Did not leave all of heaven Just to die for your sins I searched until I found you And I do it all again Now she's talking to her father In a house that was once a home She said my bills are coming due Lord, six days is not that long She hears a voice so soft and low He says I moved like that before Like Sister Ann was talking about, if you if your wood's wet, that ought to dry it out. Amen. <laughs> I feel the Lord. It said, "Didn't I leave the splendor of glory Hallelujah. just to come to a place like we're living in now, just to die for your sins?" Amen. Who else? Who else would give their life for you? But Jesus Christ. Give the Lord a big hand. Would you do it? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise yeah. the Lord. God has another plan. 
It was the morning of the third day The women found the stone was rolled away An angel told them he is risen Come and see where Jesus lay Now I see Mary in the garden She met Jesus there on that day he said, go and tell them I have risen. Yeah. When she found them, I can almost hear her say, He's alive, the tomb is empty, the stone is rolled away. There is nothing left but grave clothes, death could not make him stay. I believe it, for I have seen him, for oh, my heart burns deep inside. Jesus conquered death with victory, praise God, he is alive. Amen. Amen. I believe that today. Amen. Praise the Lord. Spoke to him this morning, Brother Jerry. He said he's still alive. Amen. Now I was burdened so deep in sin when I came to him on that day. And when I called in faith believing, I felt sin's burdens just roll away. No, I've not seen that empty tomb, I believe. It just the same Since that moment Jesus made me whole With joy I can proclaim He's alive The tomb is empty The stone is rolled away There is nothing Left but grave clothes could not make him stay. I believe it, for I have seen him, for oh, my heart burns deep inside. Jesus conquered death with victory. Praise God, he is alive. Jesus conquered death with victory. Jesus is alive. Praise the Lord. He proved it this morning. Amen. Amen. I tell you what, I was so excited this morning the way God was moving. Because, you know, we need it. We need it. And if, if any of you wasn't here, you just flat missed it. But he's going to do it again. If we come to church and we worship him and we're in the right frame of mind and we came here for the right purpose, he's going to do it again. He said he would do it again. Amen. Lord, this is a quiet crowd. Quiet bunch. We, we get more action out of this than a Baptist church, don't we? Sometimes. I'm not sometimes, saying. Sometimes, 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 sometimes. Lord, have mercy. But I, I don't know. I, I, I kind of had a rough day, rough time this morning. This morning. And I, I don't know what it was. It wasn't during this. No, not, not at all. But... Uh, I was in the office, and I just, I kept running back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And, and Sister Linda, you know, she, asked, she said, how's, it, how, how's your day? And I said, it's according to when you asked me. It's just according to what time you asked me, because sometimes it was good, sometimes it was bad. <laughs> and, uh, but, the, you know, what, what really impressed me the most was God knew what I needed this morning. Amen. I mean, how God just moved, and how the choir just opened up, and they just worshiped. And that last song we sung, they don't know that song. Michelle and Tina, they told me, Michelle told me at home, said, and we just kept looking, kept hunting, and kept hunting, and kept hunting, and finally we got it right, and we started singing it then, and everything just worked out good. Sister Ann, all of y'all up there just singing. It's a amen. beautiful, beautiful worship song, amen. amen. We're so glad to be here tonight. We 
Brother Hardy may have forgot he asked us to sing tonight, and that's why he didn't announce it this morning. So y'all didn't know you, when you drove up to the, oh, my Lord, there's that crowd again. But uh, we're glad to be here, amen. We just love y'all and just just thank you for let, just coming in to worship with us. T- Tina's going to come around and sing this song here. and It's called, I Drop My Anchor. And uh, truly, we've all got an anchor to drop, amen. Praise the Lord. You listen. <laughs> Sometimes it's so unsettled The way we have to move And leave our friends But as we grow older The goodbyes they get harder But one day a hello Will never end And I'll drop my on the other side of Jordan and this old rusty ship will leave the port no more I'll never have to say goodbye to the friends and loved ones for that anchor will hold us for a million Preparing my new home Do they ask the Savior Just when we'll be coming Or do they know it won't be very long Now drop my anchor on the other side of Jordan And the soul We sing that song. I, I think about my, my three brothers, Brother Jerry. And I just wonder if they done got together. My other brother died just a few months ago, the last one I had. But I just wondered if they got together and said, Look here, we're going to help Johnny get his mansion built. <laughs> I like to think that, you know. Amen. And when I get there, they'll have it ready because Jesus is already prepared, I know. But they would like to take the credit. I love my family. I got three brothers and two sisters, mom and dad, then go on to be the Lord. When God gets ready for you, friend, you're going to go. But I look over this congregation tonight, I hope everybody in here is saved. I hope you're ready to meet Jesus Christ. Because, believe me, he's coming. He's not going to come when man predicts it, but he's going to come when he gets ready. Sister Johnny, I believe the Lord Jesus is standing at the portholes of glory. And I believe he's looking down, and I believe he's looking back, Brother Jerry. He's just waiting for the signal. You see, Jesus don't know when he's coming, but God the Father does. He's just waiting, Brother Paul. He's just waiting to get the signal. Come bring us home, amen. We were studying the Sunday school class this morning. You know, we're all going to have a different name. And I told him what I wanted God to make my name. But I'm not going to tell God nothing. I just want to make it happen. I just want to get there. I just want to get inside that gate, amen. 
But I want to tell you, it's, we're living in perilous times. We're living in the time that it talks about and people won't care about one another. All these things that's going on in America today, ready, it's just the signs of the time that Jesus Christ is fixing to come back. And I love him, don't you love him? I'm going to back up here with him saying, but I tell you, I feel the Lord here. Brother Jerry, when you were speaking, I felt the Lord. Brother John, when you were singing, I felt the Lord. God's got a plan, brother. God's got a plan Amen. for you. The devil will try to discourage you and destroy you, but I want to tell you right now, you hold on. You're almost at the end of that journey you're taking, and God's going to deliver you from and he's going to make a way for you. Yeah. He's never forsook us, has he? Never. God has never failed me. He brought me through all the problems I had. Just worship with us. I want to sing this song. One day I will. <laughs> I have never seen the face of my Savior, but serving Him has been such a thrilling hallelujah. I have never seen the gates of that city, oh, but one day. One day I will One day I'm gonna walk On streets of pure gold And they tell me the half Has never yet been told I'll be united with loved ones on Zion's holy hill. Amen. Thank you, Lord. One day, one day I will. From the time I first met him, he's been all to me. And my life with his joy he has filled. And I'm longing for the day when my eyes shall be holy. Oh, but one day, one day we will. One day I'm going to walk on the streets of pure gold. And they tell me. Sometimes long, some, sometimes blue. But the hope of life eternal brightens all 
our hopes and you I don't want I don't want to get adjusted to get adjusted to this world to this world to this world to this world I got a home that's so much better I'm gonna go there sooner or later I don't want to get adjusted to this world I am longing for the coming of my Savior, Lord and King. And I can hear my loved one singing a brand new song I'd like to sing. I don't Brother, you that's for you, chiropractor. We tell everybody that's a chiropractor song. I'm kind of homesick. Listen now, listen. Oh. Oh! 
I'll tell you what, that's, that's exciting, isn't it? <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. Well, I feel the Lord all along my body. To just think there's a place called Beulah Land. Hallelujah. Just the heart of not, the heart and the mind can't just can't comprehend. Hallelujah. The place we're going to. Amen. Streets of gold, walls of jasper. Hallelujah. There'll never be no more sickness, no more dying, no Hallelujah. more pain. I hope all the doctors are ready, but they won't be needed there. Amen. I know. Brother Jerry, I love you to death, you and Brother Hardiman, but we won't need no preachers over there. And Brother Spivey, you too. You see, friend, when you get home, and I'm talking about my real home, I'm just a pilgrim passing through. That's it. Come on now. Glory to God. Come I'm looking now. for a city. It's out of this world. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. You know, they talk about they see something coming out through the sky. And they don't know what it is. You know, it might it might be New Jerusalem coming down from the Lord. Amen. Friend, we better get it right or we get left. I want to tell you, I get excited about the Lord because I know what he's done for me. I know what he can do for you. All you got to do is open up and let God take control of your life. We all always try to do what we can do. But I want to tell you right now, there's one greater than any of us, and his name is Jesus. And he's ready and he's standing willing to bless you. He wants to bless you. Well, I love him, and I tell you, I get excited about God. Friend, if you can't get excited about your salvation, something's wrong somewhere. You need to come back to the altar. Amen. Do your first works over again. I ain't trying to be ugly. I'm just telling you. Well, we better get this thing together. That's what we better do. We talked about it in Sunday school class many times. How that if we would just come together, Brother Freddie, and just think if every one of us would pray at a certain time, and we would fast, and we'd come through those doors, and we would clear our mind of everything but Jesus. Like it happened on the day of Pentecost. There is no telling what God could do if we'll do it. If we'll do our part, God's ready to do his part. We just got to do our part, amen. I love him tonight. Let me tell you something. I've been to some rough places, but I want to tell you, all the time I was going through them, Brother Jerry, I knew who held my hand. That's right. I knew who where he was at. Even in surgery, God was there. Look here. Even when I had the stroke, I didn't sit there in fear. When they put me in that ambulance, they give me that shot. I said, fellas, I'm going to be all right, ain't I? I said, never mind. I'm in God's hand. <laughs> Glory to God. Friend, I want to tell you, get excited about Come God. On. Come on. If you'll get excited about God, people you'll get around, they'll get excited about what you're talking about. But we'd all make good secret agents sometimes because we never blow our cover being a Christian. And I'm going to hush. But I want you to know tonight, I love you. This is my family. This is my family. You're my brother and you're my sister, and I love you, and I appreciate you. But I want to tell you, Brother Jerry, it wouldn't be hard to preach up here, would it? Brother Harmon. And y'all might get turned loose after a while. You never tell. Amen. <laughs> This is the words of song. I know who holds tomorrow. Amen. I don't know Thank you, Lord. about tomorrow. I just live. Today I want 
got him. Why? 
and that my God was in control. But on the hottest days I'd cry, oh Lord, isn't it about time? But the potter knows the clay, how much pressure it can take. How many times around the wheel to their submission to his will? He's planned a beautiful design, but it'll take some fire and time. It's gonna be okay. Just came through the fire. How many of you believe that tonight? How many have been through the fire? Not Amen. too very long ago. How many came through the fire? Hallelujah. And looking back, I can see why. And that my God was in control. But on the hardest days, I cried, Oh Lord. Isn't it about time? But the potter knows the clay, how much pressure it can take, how many times around the wheel, till there's submission to his will. He's planned a beautiful design, but it'll take some fire and time. It's gonna be okay, cause the potter knows the clay. He's planned a beautiful design. That song gets gooder and gooder to me every time we sing it, Brother Jerry. Because he's molding me still. Still, every day of my life, he's still molding me. And thank God I've been willing to let him do it. Amen. Hallelujah. Been through the fire. Been through the time. That's what the, phone, that's what the song says. We've been through the fire and been through the time. Sometimes it takes a little bit more time for some of us. Amen. But God's got to get us our attention a lot of times. Hell, you're going through the fire, honey. He's molding you. He's going to heal your body. Amen. Amen. I believe that tonight. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We're going to change over just a little bit right here, and we're going to sing a song for you. About that. We're going to sing a song for Brother Jerry. I think he'll recognize it. <laughs> A little different. The sun was burning hot as she walked through that desert town. Her soul was feeling restless and dry. She was used to people staring. They'd always put her down for the way she lived her life. But the day the dusty road was gonna lead her to a better place. Come on, Thank you, Lord. Where a 
stranger would offer her water from the well of grace. She needed well water, sweet well water, thirsty for well water, flowing from a river that'll never run dry. Well, the last thing she wanted was to talk to a man, but this one offered something more. He was kind, he was gentle, he seemed to understand, and that's what she was looking for. When she tasted of that water, she knew she'd never be the same. She could hardly wait to run back and tell what she had found that day. Tina would have ever brought that to the group to sing. Well, no. well, <laughs> let me tell you something. We, we've sung that thing several times, and we just found out that us three were doing it wrong. It's not well water. It's water. And if you don't get the water right, you get the wrath of Michelle. <laughs> so uh, y'all remember, it's water, not water. We just learned that the other day, and I, you know, we, we're doing the best we can. We're still learning, but I like the song anyway, because it does have a truth about the woman at the well. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We're not going to do just a couple more and let y'all go home. I know you're ready to go home, ain't you? You ain't ready to go? Just, you're good? You're good? Well, we'll sing a while then. You have to get up and go? Just go. How about that? We, uh, we love this stuff. Amen. <laughs> I, I want Tina to sing a song, but she will not sing the song tonight. She says I'm not ready for it. Yes, she is. And uh, what'd you say? <laughs> We're at home, honey. It don't matter. If you've been walking the same old road for miles and miles, if you've been hearing the same old voice tell the same old lies Trying to fill the same old holes inside There's a better life There's a better life If you got pain, he's a pain taker If you feel lost, he's a way maker if you need freedom or saving, he's a prison shaking savior. If you got chains, he's a chain breaker. Ooh. We've all searched for the light of day in the dead of night. We've all found ourselves worn out from the same old fight. 
We've all run the things we know just ain't right. There's a better life. Better life. Amen. There's a better life. If you got pain, he's a pain taker. If you feel lost, he's a way maker. If you need freedom or saving, he's a prison shaking savior. If you got chains, he's a chain breaker. believe it you'll receive it if you can feel it somebody testify if you believe it you'll receive it if you can feel it somebody testify testify if you believe it you'll receive it Somebody testify, testify. If you believe it, you'll receive it. You can feel it. Somebody testify, testify. If you got pain, he's a pain taker. If you feel lost, he's a way maker. If you need freedom or saving. He's a prison shaking savior. If you got chains, he's a chain breaker. If you need freedom or saving, he's a prison shaking savior. If you got chains, he's a chain breaker. Whoa, whoa, chain. Basically, what I get out of that song is he's gonna break those chains, brother Jerry. Come on. We've all searched for the light of day in the dead of night. We've all found ourselves worn out from the same old fight. We've all run the things we know just ain't right. There's a better life. There's a better life. If you got pain, he's a pain taker. If you feel lost, he's a way maker. If you need freedom or saving, he's a prison shaking savior. If you got chains, he's a chain breaker. You'll receive it if you can feel it. Somebody testify if you believe it. You'll receive it if you can feel it. Somebody testify, testify if you believe it. You'll receive it if you can feel it. Somebody testify. Testify. If you believe it, you'll receive it. If you can feel it, somebody testify. Testify. You got pain. He's a pain taker. If you feel lost, he's a way maker. If you need freedom or saving. He's a chain breaker. If you need freedom or saving, he's a prison shaking savior. If you got chains, he's a chain breaker.